This segment of Sunken Turd Productions was made possible by Bacardi and Vicodin. When nothing else will kill the pain. Assuming you've already swallowed the Vicodin and had a few shots of rum, you want to gather all the supplies you'll need. It's better to have everything close at hand. First you'll need a pumice and orange based soap. If you're in a pinch, you can substitute regular hand soap mixed with a few spoonfuls of sand or scouring powder. You'll need a good quality bottle brush. We chose this one for its attached nipple cleaner. It works great at getting into all the crevices. If your balls are extremely dirty, as mine often are, you'll want to have some steel wool close at hand. You don't have to get the kind that already has the soap mixed into it, but it doesn't hurt. You want to run the water way ahead of time to let it get nice and hot. You want to have this water as hot as you can possibly tolerate it. While the water is warming up, let's reflect on the importance of having clean balls. First of all, it's more sanitary. Secondly, it saves you the embarrassment of having to pull out dirty balls. Bottom line is, nobody wants to play with dirty balls. Okay, seems like our water is warm enough now. What you want to do is take your dish of soap and your bottle brush. Get a little wet there, get a good portion of the soap on your brush. And take your balls and you cup them like this and you start to scrub. See how it's just getting all that dirt? Wait a minute. You think just because you found this on the internet I was talking about testicles? <laughs>